how can I measure a project's length? Now, there are different factors to consider. So ideally, I would like to see the first version of your application being built in about three months. Now, this really depends on your skill set, right? So an app that takes a non-technical entrepreneur who's brand new to Bubble three months to build might take our team a day or two to build. Now, I don't say that to brag or anything like that. It's just we've been doing this for years and years and years and have built and helped people build hundreds and hundreds of applications. So if you're brand new to no code, to bubble, to app development in general, it's naturally going to take you quite a bit longer. Now, the, that three month timeline for me is ideal, but that comes along with having the proper training, education, and coaching as you go through your development. So you're learning as you're building in the absolute most efficient ways possible. Now, if you are coming at this from more of a trial and error approach, maybe you're learning through free tutorials, which is fine, but that's going to take a lot longer, right? So if you are trying to estimate your project's length and you're new to this space, you have to estimate the amount of time it's going to take you to learn how to use no-code tools to actually build your project. You know, you could build your app as you learn how to use Bubble, as you learn development strategy, and that could take you a year if you're kind of just doing it by trial and error. And at the end of that year, you might realize, I actually need to go back and rebuild because of what I've learned now. Or again, you could build that alongside the appropriate training and coaching, and you can knock everything out within that ideal three month time frame. So that's initially how to think about it but you have to also add in the scope of the project, of course. So there are going to be lots of different variables when it comes to features and functionality and complexity of the app as a whole. So you wanna make sure you are building your app in versions. So you don't wanna build the full scope version with every feature and function you've envisioned right out of the gates. You wanna build the pilot app. This is the minimal product that can actually solve a problem so that you can get validation from your users and then expand it from there. Now, what I would recommend is heading over to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash perfect hyphen pilot. I'll add that link in the description below because that's actually going to give you a scoping template that you can use to scope out these different versions. There's also a free training video that teaches you how to appropriately scope these different versions and how to use that template. But if you go through that, you'll be able to scope out an appropriate and strategic first version application. Now that, if you go through that correctly, is what I would want to take about three months. Now, when we're talking full scope, what about after that? It really depends. You know, how, how much are you getting feedback from your users? How adamant are you about intaking that feedback and making the changes that you need to? I mean, really, your app should never be finished, right? If you are finished at any point, then eventually your app is no longer gonna be around. Like there always has to be an evolution with every single business. You have to adapt to the market, to different um, changes in practices within your industry, to technology, to all of these things. So project length really should be kind of never ending, but that's kind of getting into the weeds. So when we're looking at the first version app, Really, I want you to aim for that few months and make sure you grab that template and training to help you scope the appropriate app that would fit within that timeline.